Hi, uh, today I will cover special case pattern. This special case pattern belongs to base patterns. And this base patterns belongs to patterns of enterprise application architecture. First, we will see the explanation of special case pattern. This is the explanation. A subclass that provides special behavior for particular cases. So for, for particular cases, the subclass will provide special behavior. We will see uh, one example so that you will understand. And uh, this special case pattern, uh, it is same as null object design pattern. So what is null object design pattern? How it works? I have created a separate uh, video. Please log into my channel and watch uh, that video so that you will understand what is null object design pattern. This special case pattern is uh, same as null object uh, design pattern. Okay. We will see one example uh, so that you will understand uh, this explanation. Okay. To explain this, uh, I have taken a customer table. Uh, here, uh, uh, there are four columns. Customer ID, last name, first name, age, and uh, first row represent uh, Joy information, and uh, second row represent uh, Goni information. It has uh, two rows. Uh, suppose if you want to create a class for this customer uh, table, uh, it will be look like this. So it is a customer class. It will have customer ID as int and first name last name we can define as uh, string and uh, age we can define as uh, int or long okay and uh, okay so you can see a uh, customer uh, we'll come to this null customer later uh, say customer customer will be look like this customer class will be look like this it has uh, customer id first name last name and age okay and uh, if you see this one uh, we have public customer get customer int customer id so if you pass customer id one to this method uh, then what it will do is this method it will check the customer uh, customer id is there in database or not if it is there then it will populate this customer object and it will return the customer object if uh, the customer id is not there instead of passing one and two suppose uh, user pass some 10 that is not there in this customer table so it uh, it will return null so so if uh, if customer id is there it will return customer object otherwise this method will return null so in this case uh, the caller the whoever is calling uh, this get customer method they have to do null check so first they have to call this method it will return customer object uh, if uh, customer object is uh, not present then it will return null so we have to do this null check customer object not equal to null then do customer object dot get th okay if you are not doing this uh, null check then what it will happen is at runtime uh, null pointer exception will come so the application will break suppose uh, this method is called in 100 places so 100 places we have to do this kind of null check so how to avoid this kind of null check in 100 place so to do that uh, we can use a special case pattern okay so i will explain what it is okay see uh, here uh, customer is there so we can create uh, null customer uh, okay so the null customer is uh, subclass of customer object okay and uh, so in uh, so in this case uh, if uh, uh, if we pass customer id 1 then uh, customer id 1 is there in the database so it will it will return the customer object suppose if somebody pass customer id 10 which is not there in this table uh, so it will come to this this place and here what we are doing is before what we have seen is uh, it was returning null null object so we have to do null check so in this case what we are doing is we are populating the null customer object and assigning that null customer object to the customer object which is super class of uh, uh, null customer object so we can assign a subclass uh, subclass object to the super class object uh, so there is no issue so it will return the customer object but this customer object is null customer object so the caller no need to do null check, uh, null check. they have to just uh, use this uh, object dot get age so if it is there it will return the original customer object if it is not there this customer object will be 
null customer object so null customer object uh, will have value like this you can see in the left all the values will be uh, empty so customer id will be zero first name is empty last name is empty age equal to zero so if 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 customer object is original customer object then uh, suppose customer object is uh, joe customer object then get the age will return 25 suppose uh, customer object is uh, null customer object then get age will return zero so in that way we can avoid null check in several places uh, so now if you read this sentence you will understand a subclass that provides special behavior for the particular cases so this is a subclass it provides special behavior for the particular cases in this special behavior is uh, if uh, uh, if the record is not there in the customer table instead of returning null we are returning the null, null customer object uh, and we are avoiding uh, null check in the several uh, methods okay and uh, this is about uh, special case pattern thanks for watching bye